Now, are industrial disputes heating up? Hundreds of construction union members clashed with police at a Grocon worksite in Melbourne's CBD today. And workers rallied at a Lend-Lease worksite in Brisbane to fight for better pay and conditions. The former building industry umpire says industrial action will increase, but the federal government says the system is working. Emily Stewart reports. <laughs> It's a bitter dispute that's costing Grocon $370,000 a day. Something's seriously gone wrong in the relationship between the union and the company. Hundreds of construction union members have blockaded the Meyer Emporium site in Lonsdale Street, Melbourne, since last week. And this morning, the standoff turned physical. Around 100 Grocon workers attempted to enter the site with the help of police. It's a bit bizarre, the situation we are in here. We, we haven't seen a lot of this. There are actually no Grocon employees involved. The CFMU are not representing Grocon employees in this instance because the Grocon employees actually want to get back to work. Surprisingly, the Construction, Forestry, Mining and Energy Union says the dispute is not about wages but freedom of choice to appoint shop stewards and wear union merchandise at work. Mediation by Fair Work Australia has failed to break the standoff and now it's become a matter for the courts. We entered into an EB agreement with him. Part of that agreement was to have ongoing discussions about union apparel, about flying flags on union sites, about having safety and shop stewards represented and picked by the rank and file. Construction workers have also been rallying in Brisbane today, protesting against paying conditions at the Lend Lease Children's Hospital project. We now have a changing of governments throughout Australia, both in the state and potentially at a federal level next year. What that means is that employers are suddenly thinking that they're on the ascendancy. What they want to go back to is the bad old days of work choices. But the former Australian Building and Construction Commissioner, John Lloyd, says conditions surrounding workplace relations have deteriorated in the past year. The government has abolished the tough regulator and this industry has a bad uh, history of showing little regard for the law and often involving itself in unlawful practices. It does need a strong regulator and the government's abolished a strong regulator and put it in its place. A weak body. John Lloyd warns the number of industrial disputes is likely to increase. The new system seems to be developing this trend of long disputes uh, and I think this is because the unions um, have a broader agenda of claims allowed under the legislation. So there's more disputes now about rights rather than entitlements. This is a very, un, in my opinion, a very uh, unseemly, um, inappropriate dispute but I don't think that from this you can therefore conclude that um, anything other than this is a very ugly dispute which needs to be fixed as soon as possible. And Grocon hopes it will end soon. This afternoon, the Victorian Supreme Court ordered the CFMEU to stop blocking the site.